I've now started to build the playfield, and as you can see, I've also started work on the playfield artwork. I decided to use an existing table layout to start my table, so I chose Iron Man, which is two ramps, an orbit, and a wide open playfield, which is perfect for my Bond table. So I loaded the Iron Man table into the editor and removed all the textures and toys, then the playfield lighting and all the music and sound effects, so only the whiteboard layout remains. All this will provide a good starting point for my own table build. The next step is to add artwork to the table, so I created a blueprint which will show me where all the objects in the table are located so I can design the table around them. As with the back glass, I searched the internet for images related to the table's theme, in this case James Bond. I gather more images than I actually use, but it's good to have a large selection to choose from. Then I extract the background so only the main part of the image is left. I do this for every image I find, there are no exceptions, everything must be extracted. Photoshop's wizard tool does most of the work for you, but you will have to get in close to manually finish the job. If you can, find images with plain coloured backgrounds, like Oddjob for instance, who had a plain white background so one click of the mouse is all that was needed to extract him. Now I start to build the playfield. The resolution is 2048 pixels wide by 4098 pixels high. I used a plain red background to start, which is faded around the edges to make it look like a poker table. I then start to add the lights, which are just squares and circle shapes with text or images added. The square grey box represents the LCD screen, which will play movie clips and provide real-time information for the player during a game, similar to my version of the 24 table. I use Art Explosion Pro to create all my artwork. It's like a virtual scrapbook. I can load the images into the document and move them around with the mouse, placing them where I want, making them bigger or smaller. From the start, I wanted to cram the playfield full of Bond memorabilia. All the best cars, the most famous gadgets, the sexiest Bond girls, stuff like that. The challenge is to keep the playfield clear enough for the player so he doesn't get confused, so the lights have to take priority, which is why I always start with the lights when designing the playfield artwork. Bond 50 will have 10 main mission modes, the 5 movies and the 5 villains. All of them must be completed to qualify for the main wizard feature, which I haven't named yet. I plan to add lots of other things uh, as well to the table like uh, gadget frenzy mode, Bond Girl bonus mode, a video mode and uh, plenty of other things that are still rattling around in my head. It will play nothing like Iron Man, even though it's based on Iron Man, it will play nothing like it. I will write a completely new script. Right now I'm just throwing everything I can think of at the table, but only some of the ideas will stick. The ideas that don't will probably end up in another table. At this stage, none of the script has been written, so only two music tracks have been added. But I will play a quick uh, one-ball game so you can see the table in action.